Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Minecraft Feed the Beast Ultimate Let's Play. And I've been working a little bit on the factory over there. Let's let's take a, a jaunt over there and have a look. So I haven't really done much else on the house. I've cleared up this area too, because that was just oh, that was just full of leaves and trees and stuff and it was getting kind of in the way. And nature was taking over in my absence, so I beat her back. Yeah, and the main thing, well, one of the main things, wait, did I not eat that? Oh, it's raw, yeah, whoops, I need to cook them. Yeah, I raised this up one, so we now have a bit of a, a top feature, and I think it makes it look a bit bigger and less squashed, because that was a bit silly of me. And I've added this sort of border around the front, I think that looks alright. I'm not entirely sure on this yet, I might get rid of it, but anyway, that's the, the main change. So raise the ceiling by, or raise the outline by one. I've pushed this wall back in order to have a skylight and have it a 3x3 three three instead of a 3x2, which looked a bit silly. So yeah, push the wall back, move this all back again. And that's that's that. Did the ceiling because you know, we're working on the factory and it rains and we get all wet. Our machinery, machinery, machinery gets wet. And uh, that is not good. That is potentially dangerous and life-threatening. And we don't want any of these to explode, because that would be detrimental to the building and probably to my health. So, what we can do whoop, before we do anything is to cook these potatoes, because, because lag, because oh my inventory, wow my inventory, uh, because we need some food. I really need to get my storage system set up. And by the looks of the comments from the last episode, I think we'll go we'll go for a fact um a warehouse and build it on to the side here in a nice sort of arched style or yeah I think like it'll go up a bit arch the ceiling and then go down and what time is it? Oh nearly light which is excellent because I had almost forgotten the soul shards that we made and they are still in here and so what I've heard is a massively full inventory how do I get rid of, get rid of dirt Cobblestone, a bit in there. I have heard that you can actually get a soul shard of the Thorncraft zombies. Am I, am I going in the wrong direction? Yeah, how's it this way? <laughs> Duh. Yeah, so you can get a soul shard of the angry zombies, which would be pretty awesome. But I don't really fancy taking them on at close range, so I'm going to make a bow. Plus that helps our endeavour of getting other mobs as well. So I have a bow and ten arrows, hmm. This uh, might take more than ten arrows. Especially if you want to fill up all three soul shards with, say, an angry zombie, a creeper and a, a cow, maybe. Just to shake things up a bit. But we do have flint, I know that for a fact. And I know we have feathers somewhere, but I think it's back in the house. But anyway, let's go up here, see if we can spy an angry zombie from our lookout. So it's just becoming night, so things should be spawning. Hopefully they'll spawn soon. Oh, there's one. Hello, Mr. Angry Zombie. I'm not entirely sure how many arrows it takes to kill one of these things. Three, four, five. Aha! Soul Shard. Oh yeah, look at that. Soul Shard, Angry Zombie. That's pretty sweet. So that's one of them. <laughs> Let's get, let's see, let's get a creeper one, because gunpowder is pretty useful. Damn, missed. Can't make too many of these mistakes, because I don't have that many arrows. Oh yeah, how many arrows do we have left? One. Okay, perfect. Angry zombie and a creeper soul shard. And what we can do in that is there are two methods with soul shards. One is to do the, le the legit method and just go around killing all the, the baddies and filling up the soul shards. Or the second method, which is actually in the wiki, so I think it's a feature as opposed to an exploit. So that makes me think uh, it's a bit less of a cheaty method than it might seem to be at first, is to get nine tier zero soul shards and combine them all together. And that saves us going around and killing all the mobs, but it also costs us three diamonds. So I think that's the sort of payoff that the mod is allowing us. So we can either spend three zombies and save time, or go around and kill lots of things and save three diamonds. So it's just swings and roundabouts, which is completely the wrong term. But anyway, we could go and do that. But that requires 
a, an anvil. And as we all know, as it's a vanilla recipe, an anvil is created with three blocks of iron and four iron ingots. And that is a noisy zombie, where are you? Did I, what, what volume am I on? No. Seven's alright. Where are you? Probably... Yeah, there you are. Oh, you're an armoured angry zombie. Wow. Don't want to cross paths with you. He, look, he looks menacing. But yeah, uh, what was I saying? <laughs> I've completely lost my train of thought now. Stupid zombie. Your awesomeness distracted me. And now my tire is. Right, come here so I can just whack you. Nuts. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> Something about soul shards. Oh yeah, the blocks of iron we need to make the anvil can only be can only now be made in a compressor. Or yeah, apparently you can make it with a minium stone, but with another block, which doesn't help us any. any yeah, uh, we need a compressor and nine iron ingots, and the mobs are being really noisy. Or a thermionic fabricator with molten iron. Hmm. And a block cast. How do I make a block cast? Beeswax. Oh, I don't have any beeswax. Well, that's, that's one way to do it, I suppose. Is there anything else? No. Compressor is the only way. So. Oh my god, they're so noisy. Right, is it almost sun? Is it almost, oh, my sun. It's almost morning. That's what I was trying to say. Right, come on. Oh, come on, let, oh, come in. Come in so I can kill you. One, oh, one, yeah, there we go. Right. You can... Oh, wait, 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 Ow. Quit it. Yeah. There's one thing about soul shards is that even if you have the used soul shard in your inventory, if you have a fresh one on your hotbar, it's going to prefer that over the one in your inventory. Where's the other one? Go on. Go on, you, you noisy people. Where are you? There you are. Okay, running, running, I don't want to kill. Oh, minium stone. I mean, minium shard. Uh, goodbye stick. And uh, unfortunately, killing zombies doesn't add to the uh, killing the normal zombies. See, we still have three. So we killed three angry zombies, and we have three angry zombie kills. And one creeper, and there's still a blank one. So, yes, let's get on with making the compressor. So, in order to do this, we need to make a well, that's the thing. I've, I've, I've been thinking. The sneaky way that we could convert buildcraft energy is to use the magma crucible to make lava from netherrack. So we'd go into the nether and raid, raid the nether of netherrack, come back in here, compress it all down in the magma crucible, and then have a tank of lava, which would then feed into a geothermal generator, which could then convert the lava from, well, from lava to industrial craft to energy as opposed to buildcraft energy and then we can link that up to an MFE and a what was this oh 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 wait 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 don't want to oof that could have been close oh, come on there we go so yeah that can convert the energy from from lava to EU and then we can store that in the MFE or, or what, whatevs and <laughs> don't know why I said that or whatever and we can use that for our I see two machines. So I think I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to go and get rid of all these angry mobs, sleep through the night, and meet you guys back here in a moment. Ah. Ah. Okay, we're going to need a few materials for this build, namely glass and machine blocks. So we're going to need to take some iron, just take all of that, and smelt it again. And this will convert the iron into refined iron. Are we going to see it before it goes? No, we're not. Refined iron. There we go. And that's what's used in a lot of the IC2 machines. So we need to actually get quite a lot of that. So the first thing we're going to make is a tank. And it's just going to be probably a simple tank block like this. Just eight glass. And we're going to plonk that. Um, where are we going to plonk that? We're probably going to plonk that. It's on... Mm, hang on. This might be a bit more tricky than I expected. Let's see, what's the recipe for a magma crucible? Two nether bricks. Do we have any nether brick left over? Please tell me we do. Uh, probably not going to be in here though. Um, 
Yeah, we're probably going to make another magma crucible because I actually want to move this downstairs for now. It's going to be moved into the warehouse probably when I actually make the warehouse. <laughs> and that's going to itself be a nice little project for us. Please tell me we have some nether brick. Dang it. We might have to go back into the nether and make another magma crucible. Or we could just like pick up and move around this one. Which we might do. <laughs> yeah. So let's actually do that. But first, let's... Yeah, instead of making a normal tank, let's actually make a Zycroft tank. I think that's a better, better idea. Let's make it out of... Uh, wait, let's make it out of smooth bricks. To, to, to uh, differentiate it from the other things. Because we've got a wooden one. We don't want to store lava in wood, because that's just asking for trouble. So let's move... Let's push this wall... Wait, which, which orientation are we? This is... So, yeah, the warehouse can be over there. So yeah, this way is safe. I don't want to you know, sort of breach a possible warehouse location. So once again, I shall get this room ready for our awesome experiments. And do I have a shovel? Yes, I do have a shovel. And meet you momentarily. So here we have our rough new tank. Let's hope this works. Right click the valve and... And... Nothing happens. Does it not like being part of the support? Or do I have to click both valves? Maybe that's an issue, but anyway, let's try this method. Might not be... Yeah, I don't think it's actually thinking about it. I don't think it likes being part of the frame. So let's just reorder this. Well, now will this work? No? Why well, you know work? Uh, what's the difference then here? Hmm. Do I... Have I not filled in everything? Oh. Missed a bit. Ooh. And I found some iron. Win-win. Fixing the situation and finding iron. So, are you going to work now? Yes! Graphical change. That's good. Sweet. Now have our multi-tank and some iron. Winning. So much winning. I if this led on to, like, massive cave system that I've yet to explore. But certainly no. Right, let's go back up. Don't want to use cobblestone, because... Eh. Yeah, don't have a cobblestone floor. So let's fill this in, and fill that in. Okay, now you should be working. Yeah, good. More to say. Now, actually this might help us, because the magma crucible outputs to a side, but I don't know whether that side interacts with the Zycraft valve. So let's... I should re really make another one of these, but for now, let's uh, pick this up. And this should work, right? Got a few. Yeah, it does work. <laughs> and do we have any liquid ducts left? I don't think so. Um, and that's a negatory. We do have these, which we shall need. Let's head back down, plonk this down next to the tank. Should be fine just like that. And then we output it output to the top. So the top is the output. Good. And then we have a liquid duct from there to there. And let's power this thing. Um, don't want this to be too messy, but I think it's going to have to be pretty messy. <laughs> um, let's do this, and then link you to up. And then put you... Uh, wait, that's, that was right, but this one needs changing. Okay, now you should be filling up. Yes. And, okay, this, this, yeah, this is working now. Before it was stopped, but it was still producing, so that was a bit weird. It's a bit of a graphical bug, but it seems to have fixed itself. So this is, yeah, this is pretty ugly. <laughs> I might try and cover this up or shift it around, but for now it, for now it works. This is getting its, uh, its power. So let's head over to the house, because I don't think we have any netherrack with us. No. Uh, oh, is that a creeper outside? Oh, it's a good thing I didn't open the door right then. <laughs> Jeez. Right. Oh my god, there's creepers everywhere. I might actually bring a bed down here. Because it's a bit dangerous having to run. Oh, run, 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 run. No, go away, creeper. No. Okay, good, it didn't sizzle. We're safe for now. Phew. Do we have any netherrack? 
I should have checked this before, really. Don't think we do have any netherrack. <laughs> oh, phew. Yeah, we do have netherrack. Good. And what else was I going to bring? Netherrack and stuff for a liquiduct, which is what? I think it's just, oops. It's just a hardened glass and... And... Electrum, isn't it? Where is the liquiduct? Is that it? Yeah, liquiduct, good. Is this copper and hard glass? Perfect. We have loads of that. Let's try and make a dash for it. Grouper. No, no. No, no, no. Oh, phew. That could have been a bit detrimental to our environment. Let's see, do we have any hardened glass left? I think we do. Please say we do. Yeah, there we go. Hardened glass and some copper. Excellent. And my inventory's getting full again. Man, this game. Right, you can process that iron. So we don't need too many of these. Four, yeah, four. We only need one, really. I think we also need a lever. Oops. <laughs> That's not the right combination. <laughs> That'd be a really weird recipe if that worked. A stick and a pickaxe. Like a really long-reaching pickaxe. So I hope this works. And then we need to do... Well, we eventually we need to power it. Because I don't think doing a wrench... Ah, so that does do something, but we don't want to... We wanted to go in, so I think this should be enough. And we put some netherrack in there. And it's going to be really, really slow. It figures. So how are we doing for... Oh, that's not good. That's not good at all. We are not producing enough. So hopefully we're not going to have to rely on this too much. Because we're going to run out of power before we fill the tank. We're going to have to make some more engines. Yeah. That's going to have to happen. But we are producing lava, so if these engines ever cool down for whatever reason, we can just be like, plonk, and plonk in there. So that's not too bad. How are we doing for biomass production? Still pretty good. Are you still... Oh my god, you're almost going to blow up. And we're out of saplings. No, that's not good. That's not good. Go, 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 I really need to find a way of automating this sapling business. Are you even... Yeah, you're still on. Okay. Whew. Wow. That could have been disastrous. Because that would have blown up. This would have blown up. Might have taken some of the tank out as... Oh, no. Might have just been the pipes, actually. But, yeah, the pipes would have blown up. Whew. That was, that was dangerous. But, yeah, I really need to way, find a way of automating the saplings. Because at the moment, I'm just doing it manually. So you... Have I even done anything with you? Well, I'll leave you for now anyway. So you're filling up nicely. Oh, you're down there. Have I... Did I, I don't think I did that the same way with this. I'd raise it up a level. Oh, never mind. Okay, just put, get more lava in there. <laughs> it's fine with me. So how are we doing for power now? Yeah, I'm going to need another one of these. Biogas engines. So, anyway. Let's see... Expand this a bit and plonk a liquid duct down. I can hear a zombie again. Noisy, zon noisy zombies. Let's see, what do we need for a geothermal generator? We need empty cell, a generator, refined iron, and glass. But what, pray tell, do we need to make the generator? Because I think this requires. An RE battery, which does require rubber. But, luckily, there was a rubber tree sapling... Or rubber tree, rather, over the river. Wait, which direction is it? Yeah, over the river. Um, whoa. Okay, there we are. I'm going to kill the spider, because you're noisy. Noisy spider. Okay, now you've reached the clock. Great. But there was... Yeah, you might still see it over there. Rubber tree. And I had a zombie. That's good. Always promising to have a headless or be around. Yeah, I brought some of those and I plonked them down. Get out the way, spider. Uh, can we actually see them? Yeah, there they are. There. So I am actually producing rubber now, which is pretty awesome. And this area seems dark. I don't like it. Okay, I'm actually going to just hide it down there. Cool. And we should have some rubber. In theory. I did have some rubber. Did I put it in the house? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, there we go. Rubber. Sweet. 
So geothermal generator recipe is a generator that needs refined iron and an iron furnace. So lots and lots of iron is needed, but luckily we do have a lot of it. And my inventory is getting full yet again. How am I? How do I still have this lapis? Go in there. Do I have anything else? Gold. Gold, you can go in there. Cobblestone, you can go in there. Yeah, that worked. Good. So let's make an iron furnace. Iron furnace, good. Just double checking. And then we need refined iron and a battery. It doesn't show the battery recipe, which is a bit strange, but we need four tin. And I took five because I'm clever. Two redstone and a copper cable, which is three copper like that makes uninsulated copper cabling. Then we need to put rubber next to it, that makes one copper cable. I'm not going to do all of it just yet because I might need the rubber for other things. And the redstone, and this is Icorium because I'm stupid. Redstone. <laughs> redstone is what I need. So tin, that is tin. Yep, that is a copper cable, right? Yeah, battery, good. And we also need four tin for the empty cells as well. I think this is the recipe because we can make so many different ones. Yeah, empty cell, good. So geothermal generator needs glass, generator, and refined iron. Okay, we have lots of that. So we should now be able to make our generator. Our battery and iron furnace gives us a generator. And now, fingers crossed, we should be able to make the generator. And I completely forgot the recipe just then. And I need glass. Glass, glass, glass. You in there, you're in there. Good. Oh, I have to, oh. Still taking a while. Still, still taking a little bit to get used to this new texture pack. But hopefully it won't take me too long to get used to it. And find iron. Gives us a geothermal generator. Next on the list is an MFE. Because we want to be able to, be able to store the power. That is energy crystals, gold insulated cabling. Two times. Twice insulated gold cabling, should say. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And a machine block, which is just refined iron, like so. But, first of all, we need to clean up our inventory again. So much mess. Uh, get rid of the dirt, and the Zycorium can go back. See if I get just get rid of any extras in my inventory. That should be enough. Copper. Why are you not going in there? Are you a different type of copper? Oh, you're a different type of copper. Isn't it interesting? Are you like a, a normally smelted version? Possibly. Right, let's put you in there, just so I don't accidentally make a spider shard when I don't want to. And do I have the tree tap in here still? So, doth mine eyes deceive me? Nope, there it is. Tree tap, which is pretty simple to make. Just any five wooden planks like so. And let's go and kill that spider. You need to die now. At the end of my sword! Ah! Oh man, hit me twice. That's not good. Let's head over to the rubber trees. Hopefully we should get some nice rubber spawns because the spawns are pretty random. Which is a pain in the ass. <laughs> and we can just get rid of these leaves quickly. To get a better view. And there was like a myth that if you cut the leaves from the top it doesn't work, which is silly. It'll work. There's one. Ooh, two there. That's pretty nice. Am I picking them all up? Yeah, should be. It, graphically, they're spewing off, but then they combine together. Which is a nice 1.4 feature. Or was it 1.3? I didn't get those ones, though. Oh. Okay, they ended up there. Any other spawns? Mm, not that I can be bothered to get to. So, let's head back to the factory. Where are we going? I'm completely disoriented. There we are. Hidden behind all the wood. So let's get back there and get smelting. We actually do need to make an extractor at some point because that increases the yield of the rubber by three. So for every rubber you get three, uh, every sticky resin you get three rubber instead of the one to one ratio we have at the moment. So we have our geothermal generator and we need to get those potatoes out. Yeah. I'm not on. Cool. And we need the twice insulated gold cabling, don't we? Now, this is where the rubies come in handy. Where are you? One, two, three, four. Instead of diamonds, we can use the rubies, like so, to make the energy crystals. Which is good, because it saves us a diamond. Or four. So one, two, three, and four. And I have a full inventory. Oh my god. 
Why with the constantly full inventory? I need to have my sorting system set up. That involves doing the warehouse, so yes, one project at a time. How are we doing for the rubber? Eight, that's good. So we need three bars of gold. It's the same recipe as the copper one, or same style as the copper one. Three bars along the middle or the top. Yeah, it's a shapeless, relatively shapeless recipe. It was 12 cables. We need four. So one, two, three, four. That's the one time insulated copper. And then we need to put it with rubber again to make the twice insulated copper. And um, gold even, not copper. And we also need the energy crystals which we now have and the machine block. So actually we should be able to just shift. No? Couldn't shift click. Okay. I have to do this manually. Maybe it doesn't like the energy crystals being empty, but. It is the same recipe, it will work. Ta-da! MFE. And last but not least, we probably should make some gold... and um, some copper cabling. Just for normal power transfer. Although we are outputting from the MFE, so we need... Oh, we can do that later. Let's go down, <laughs> Let's go down here. And I'm hoping this is going to work, actually. Okay, you're not producing anymore, but you're filling up. So let's go put those birch saplings in there. Really, 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 really need a way to automate these things. Oop, oh, I don't want to use a rubber tree. Where's the... There we go. Birch sapling. Don't mind sacrificing you. Do I actually have any more? No, I've actually used up my entire supply of every sapling ever. Which is surprising. How are you? Okay, we've got loads of biomass, so we have a an overflow. No, stop working. Damn it, machine. Might actually have to do an emergency sapling trip. But anyway, let's try and get this done. So you are producing lava. How are we doing for power? Oh, that's not good. Definitely need more engines. Right. Is this going to work? Will you interact with a geothermal generator? No. <laughs> Is the answer to that. Unless it's... Unless it's a different... I think this is the wrong wrench, isn't it? Yeah. If I shift no. A different wrench. The Buildcraft wrench. Or the ICT wrench. I can never re remember which one's which. So wrench... Oops. No. Wren... Come on, touch typing. There we go. Wrench is bronze. We should have some bronze. I'm pretty sure. One. <laughs> How many tin and copper do we have? should do. So copper, one, two, whoops, one, two, and the tin gives us bronze, and then we can make the wrench. Wait, 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 wait. This is the right one, isn't it? I can't really tell through the text pack. I think we need this one. Yeah, we don't, well, I think we do need that one. Let's get another one, two, three, one, two, whoops, no, and one. Got too many copper there. Oop, that's bronze. Copper. And tin. So now we should be able to make the right wrench. I'm pretty sure this is the right one, because it uses more bronze. Let's hope anyway. If it's not, then I will cry. And I also think that the geothermal generator won't interact with the liquidots, because it doesn't seem to be, unless it needs to be on the bottom. Okay, good. That worked. So we need to take the generator, and let's see, do we have... Two more liquid ducts. Can we make this a bit neater? One. Uh, not really. Right, let's just do that. See if this works. Wait. Oh, uh, what have I done? Geo. Thermal. Probably helps if I do the right damn thing. <laughs> Don't I? I swear I would have converted that. Oh my god. Maybe that's why it doesn't work. <laughs> Using the completely the wrong thing. I am an idiot. Huh. Right. Can we question mark that? Yes, we can. Good. Right. Back to it. Now, is this going to work? Let's see if we can put this from the top. Because that will need some things up a bit. Stop passing away. Right. Geothermal. Does this work? Wait, this is what I was looking at before. Oh, this must have broken it. Ah. Oh. Man. We need to make that... Okay. Ah, oh, it's going to do that every single time. Man, 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 man. Okay, we need to 
sort this out properly. Uh, I will just test things quickly and be right back. Okay, I did some testing in my test world, and I found out that you do, you can actually do this. But you you first of all need to right click on this to have a little. Uh, wait, yeah, that wait that might not, that might not work. But anyway, we need a lever. Don't, don't I? Oh, thought I had one on me. Yeah, we need a lever. So let's hop over to our crafting table, or for our, get some cobblestone at least. Uh, yeah, get some cobbler. And do I have any wood? Nope. Not yet, anyway. <laughs> uh, that's rude. So let's combine these two for a lever. Good. Lever. And I'm hoping this works, but the graphic, the graphical thing is saying that it's taking it out of the geothermal generator. So we might need to move it again, which I really don't want to do because I keep wasting my resources. Right, how about just that? Really? Oh, I think we're going to have to move it. Oh, dang it. This gonna break. I know it's like a chance of breaking, but please don't. Oh, yeah! We finally got it back as a geothermal generator. Right. I'm pretty sure this works though. Let's go liquid duct. It should work. So let's flick you on, and no wait, that stays like that. That goes like that. This worked in my test world. This was working in my test world. Why you no work? Got plenty of lava. The valve should be outputting. It literally was working in my test world. Why are you no work? Right, I'm going to prove this to you guys. <laughs> okay, single player, test world. Oh, I got a text. See, this is working. What am I doing differently? I have this tank. It is a tank. It is outputting with a liquid duct and a redstone signal into the geothermal generator, which is working. If I unpower this, is this going to stop pumping? It might not because it's already full, but this is working! Why is it not working the other one? Albeit this is full of lava, but needless, it should make a difference. Let's get rid of you and you're unpowered. Liquid duct. I need to yeah connect you back up again. Okay, you're still working. Yeah, you're pumping out. Okay, now that I've proved it to you, <laughs> I, what this should have worked. This should work. What am I doing differently? Hang on, I'll move this. Are you just not being happy? Do I have to reset you? Oops. And throw out my bucket of, lava, uh, bucket of water. Right, this is nothing different than what was before. If I put the lever back... Ah, grr. Why is it not working? Does it actually have to be up to the level of the valve? Does that make a difference? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. But route of netherrack, right. Go! I will get this working. I will get this working, I'm determined. This is, this is confusing me. Why is this not working? This is in. The top. Right? Yeah. We're all, we, we can all agree on that. Is it just this? Let's see. Is it just being difficult for the sake of being difficult? Hmm. That doesn't work. No, flung away. Come back. Come back, my precious. I know it. I don't. I, I know it definitely needs a redstone signal. The only thing I could think of is that it doesn't have enough lava to pump out, but that doesn't really make sense. Am I missing something? I must. I, am I doing something wrong? Well, anyway, I'll uh, I'll tinker around with this, but I think this is a good point to end the episode on. Uh, what are we doing? It's night time now. I might just <laughs> take shelter in here and uh, yeah. So yeah, I'll play around with that. Uh, if, you, if you guys notice any difference between that setup and the one on the test world, then please tell me, because I really, really can't see a difference. But it just refuses to work. But anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. A like would be very much appreciated. It tells me that you like all my work. It makes me feel good. Yeah, I shall say thank you very much for watching, and see you in the next episode.
Hello? Hello? Who's that? Who's that? Please, please, please don't go. Please don't leave. Hello? Success. So, this is currently off at the moment. We can put the shard in. Lasers are spinning around there. And hopefully, we just patch up the hole here. Turn this bad boy on. 